All right, let's go ahead and <clears throat> get started here. This is our uh, Tuesday night live stream. And on Tuesday nights from 7 to uh, 8 o'clock, we talk about drawing the human head, all things that uh, have to do with that. So <clears throat> last week we looked at uh, uh, lips and the uh, week before that we looked at the nose and I thought that I would jump all the way back to basics. So uh, let's take a look at some basic head forms and you know drawing the head can be extremely complicated but I think if you well it's just going to be complicated but we could do some things to uh, simplify it okay so uh, if if you have a pad of paper or your sketchbook let's start off just by drawing um, a number of uh, of circles And I'm just going to draw these random. I'm not trying to. Uh... I'm not trying to make them look like uh, skulls. In fact, I may have made some of them too close together, but uh, you should uh, you should get the idea most definitely. So let's let's start off with this one over here. So usually I have a. A process that I go through when I'm drawing the head and I just repeat that process over and over and over again so when I am drawing the head the first thing I want to do is determine what angle it's at so let's just say that this is the angle this is what I would call the 2d meaning you are trying to determine along this axis where the head is is going so is it tilting to the right or is it tilting to the left okay the next thing you want to do is determine where the eye line is and the eye line in fact let's bring up a picture here let's uh, bring up this gentleman right here and we'll, we'll you kind of use him as a sample so I can show you um, all the pictures, by the way, all the pictures that we're using tonight come from a great website. And I'm going to put this in the chat. And it's uh, Earth's World.com. Earth's World.com is it's a photographer. His name goes by his name is Earth. And it's just photos that he's taken random of random people and they're just they're just fantastic to practice drawing from so anyhow uh, so first thing we want to do is is figure out the tilt of the head okay let's draw another tilt over here okay and let's draw one right over here as well next thing you want to establish is uh, where the um, eye line is or I like to call it a brow line so in this gentleman, the brow line usually kind of goes right above the eyes. That's how I do it. Okay, so this would be, let's just say this was the brow line here. And you definitely want to make it curved, right? And let's just say the brow line is this over here. And on this one, uh, instead of the brow line going this way, let's run it this way all right let's come back over to this over here so this is my 2d so let's now determine where the face is going to fall okay so in this gentleman here and I'm going to uh, our first 2d axis line is going to be somewhere like right down here the center of this face the center of his head but we really want to look for the center right in between his eyes. So in that case, let's just put it right here, okay? And what you could do, and what I usually do, is I look for the temple, the two temples here. 
and it makes like a T. So essential, there's one temple and there's one. And now I'm going to draw dark so you can see what I'm, what I'm looking at. All right. Over here, let's just say the face is going to be right over there. So I'm going to draw a temple line. Okay, there's the T there. Down here, let's cause the face to the, the center line of the face to be right there. Okay. So first, so first part is to determine the the axis. That's first. 2D axis. Then determine uh, the where the brow line is going to go. Is it is it right at eye level? Are we looking up at the person, or are we looking down? And that was we're just looking up at the person here. Let's just say this is our, uh, and we're looking at the brow line. We're looking down at this person over here. Okay, so that's number two. Determine where the brow line is. Uh, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to figure out if they are looking up or looking down. But here's a trick you can remember. Typically, if you look at the top of their ear, and if their ear is lower than their brow line, that means you're looking, you're looking up at them. If the ears are above their brow line, then you're looking down at them. Okay? So in this case, we can see that it's almost, it's almost, uh, we're almost looking up at him. His brow line is slightly higher than his ears. Okay. So uh, next is getting the brow line. Then we find the temples. Okay. The temples are going to be right here. And then we draw our T. Next, next, what I like to do is from the temple, which is right here, the head is, is usually flat along the sides. It's flat. So from the temple, I like to draw an oval. Like I'm slicing the side the side of it off, the side of the sphere off. And all I'm doing is I'm just going through all of these and just showing how I would cut those off. All right, from the brow line then, um, now I'm going to, what I like to do is hang my eyeballs. And when I draw eyeballs, I try and like, try and draw a whole eyeball. It's, it's easier for me to make sure my pupils are going the right way. So brow line, we go into the uh, establish our T. Then we slice, then we uh, slice the side of the head. And then I drop my eyes, my eyeballs. All right, from here. Uh, next thing I'm going to drop my nose and again, I'm just almost making like a Muppet nose at this point.
Then, after I got my nose in, uh, I'm going to look right in the center of the eyes. And visually, I'm going to draw two straight lines. I may not even draw them on the page. I'm just going to take a look at them. Because on either side of these lines is where the mouth lines up. Look at this over here. Look at our gentleman right here. If I drop a line right at his pupil, here's another one. Usually you could get the corners of the mouth. All right. So even if I just did a little smiley face on these guys. Generally speaking, you can line up your mouth. Next part we want to, and whoever just joined us, let me give you a, uh, Drew, I'm going to just uh, slow down for a second and quickly review for the, our new friend who has shown up here really quickly. So uh, where we were at was we were just talking about the basic construction of the face. So I will show you a, a quick overview of what we've just been doing. So first thing you want to do is draw an, a circle or a sphere on your page. Next thing you know, you're going to draw a, uh, you're going to determine where your brow line is. This is our brow line right there. This is a condensed version, by the way. Then we're going to draw a center line to talk about where the center part of our face is going. This is our T. Then we're going to hang, then we're going to, at our T, the corners of our T is right here. This is at the temple, our temple. And this is where you want to slice off the sides of your uh, spheres because the how the uh, from the front view the head is very rectangular the face is from the side view it's very round okay T all right next we're gonna hang the eyeballs hang the eyeballs from the uh, from that brow line, drop a nose, almost like a Muppet nose. This is just for conversation here. The pupils, draw two lines coming straight down the pupils, just like this, and they will tell you where the mouth, the corners of the mouth are. Okay. From the side of our head now, this is this is that we're going to move on now. So from the the eye, the, then we're going to determine the the mouth. And then the side of the head. Let's get the jaw in. So with the jaw is right here. And I'm going to change colors really quick, so we can see this. So the jaw is going to come down and remember the jaw is going to come around. So we, we want to come down and then we're going to sweep around. So in our little heads here, we would come down and sweep around. Let's do it up here. We're going to come down, sweep around. Now this gentleman has um, a lot of weight on him. So if he was uh, skinnier, uh, we can actually see that. Let's see if we have, 
this gal here. Yeah, that's not a good angle. Well, well, we'll look at her a little bit later. But, yep, drop the jaw down, sw sweeps around, okay? Drop the jaw down, sweeps around, drop the jaw down, sweeps around. Drop the jaw down. Sweeps around. And then of course the last the last feature to add here is our ears. And our ear will always fall into this region. Bam. Boom. This is lower quadrant area. See right here. There it is right there. Okay. So if if you're new to drawing the face, this is this uh, process is what I would recommend that you try over and over and over again, and not even worry about trying to get it to look like the person. Okay. Instead, what you want to do is just get accustomed to where all these little pieces fall. And then once you have that in your mind, it's much easier to start to get proportion or to draw the face from different angles. Any questions? Any questions on that? So what I thought we would do now, I have a couple pictures that I have uh, uploaded that I would like to slowly draw for you. And you can draw along if you want, or you can ask me questions. Okay, does that sound good, everyone? All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start with this gentleman here. And I will talk through... Uh, I'll talk through the process that um, I'm going through, right? So usually on our Facebook page, we will talk about gesture, construction, detail. That's the process that I go through when I'm drawing something. So even, even drawing a face, I will start off with a, a quick gesture, right? So how would you do a gesture on a face? Well. I might just throw some lines down here. Oh, these are all too dark. I have to lighten these guys up. All right. So as I look at the overall shape of his head, he's like a giant bean. And I, for his case, his eyes, I'm already going to just throw some lines here. Okay, there, there's my gesture. So from here, now that I, I, I have his gesture, let's kind of walk through our process here, okay? So first thing I notice is that I want to make sure that I have his head angled in the right position. So I'm looking at mine right now. And I almost feel as though my head is going in the opposite direction. So uh, since I'm on the computer, I could just spin it, but I'm gonna pretend like I wasn't on the computer and I'm going to adjust, adjust this so slightly. So that's my, that's my 2D, trying to get the right angle, okay? Next thing I want to do is, is get the uh, brow line. And again, it's almost, it's almost like I'm looking up at him. Okay. 
And if I look at now, where is that T? Well, let's get this. If I'm going to look right here, this temple is a little bit closer to this side than it is over there. So I'm going to put the temple right about there. And then this temple, look how close it is to the edge. It's going to be right about there. So there's, there's my cross T going across. And then the center of his face is coming down here. And this is a little bit, um, I'm sensitive, cautiously looking at this, that uh, it's closer to the right-hand side there. All right, so we have that. Now let's get the sides of his head here. All right, now let's get the, uh, let's drop his, uh, we got our temple, we got the uh, T coming across. Let's drop his eyeballs here. All right, I got his eyeballs in here. And let's get his nose in here now. Okay. Let's get the corners of his mouth. I'm looking for his pupil here. Dropping down a straight line. Pupil over here, dropping down a straight line. And I'm just going to right now, I'm just trying to get all my pieces in place. All right. So already I could see that I'm starting uh, at a slightly different angle, but we'll, we'll see how this works out. All right, great. Uh, let's see. We got our nose, our mouth. Next thing you want to do is we want to look for the barrel of the mouth. This is the barrel right in here. It goes right below the nose, right behind the nose. All right. Because this is going to help us, this is going to come around. This is going to help us build out the chin, the uh, lips when we get to that point. All right. Now I'm going to position his ears. Where's his ears? Coming right in there. Starting to make some adjustments, some measurements. Another thing when I'm drawing portraits, I always like to look for uh, what I call straight versus curved. So look at this here. This is beautiful, actually. Look how straight. This line has a very strong straight. Where over here, this is a really nice curve. This actually is caused by a tendon that goes right down to the pit of your neck. And uh, it, it causes, when you turn your head, it causes one side to be very straight. So we definitely, we definitely wanna drop that in. And then of course, all of his uh, fat is pushing up over here. It, it is just, uh, for me, I find that to be a thing of beauty. <laughs> I love that. It adds so much character. All right. Great. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, darken up my brush. And I'm going to make it a little smaller and start to get into some more detail here. All right. So this is essentially my uh, construction part. And now I can go into the pieces and start to uh, really get a feel for what's going on. All right. So let's start off with uh, his eye there, his eyelid. And when I'm drawing eyes, I am thinking of like going around. Oops. 
going around the form, going around the eyeball there. So if you were going to practice this on your own, what I might suggest again is is just kind of go through those go through those those uh, processes All right let's keep going here. I'm looking at the negative space between the eyebrow all right let's get this nose in here if you were here uh, a couple weeks ago we talked about this idea in a nose you can almost see a a man's tie you can uh, check out that video here <clears throat> and drawing drawing these features you can look at the mechanics, but um, there's only one way to really uh, get comfortable with them, and that is to uh, practice. Just keep drawing them over and over. I remember when, when I was trying to uh, learn how to draw the face, I was taking a class. <clears throat> used to live in California and I was taking a class up in uh, Hollywood believe it or not and uh, I would man I would leave that class so frustrated because it just was not it just wasn't sinking in and uh, I never thought I'd get it and then I'll tell you what happened one day One day, one portrait just came out so nice, and I was like, I was shocked. I could not believe that it uh, that it worked. And then the next eight portraits were awful again. And then another one turned out great. And the next seven were terrible. And then another one turned out great. And so just very slowly over time, I noticed that uh, they just kept getting better. They get, my confidence kept growing and they get getting better and better. So that straight line there okay
Now, once again, you want to make sure you're looking carefully at where things uh, line up. So in this case, um, I'm looking very carefully. Look how close this color comes from, uh, how close it comes uh, to his ear. And how, where does the shirt come up over there? Oh, wow, it's, it's like this right there. You can see that. Got a little chain coming in there. All right, I'm going to add a little tone to this. And let's see here. All right, so let's uh, let's choose a tone. Let's try and match it. You know. Sometimes working in Photoshop, it's there's a temptation to uh, to just color pick your color, and um, it's oops, it's better to uh, eyeball it. because it's a, a great skill to be able to eyeball colors. All right, let's get some of this uh, shadow area in here. And uh, is that, how does that look? That looks okay. It's probably a little more red, I think. See how he does here. Okay, that's good. I like that. All right, so let's just not be timid and just throw some color in here. And when I'm adding the color, I'm just squinting my eyes. Squint my eyes, getting just the rough areas in, okay? Now I'm going to definitely sample that color, and we will get some highlights now. So I'm just going to look over here, and just going to start dropping in some lighter values where I see them on his face. There's a little bit underneath here. Look at this. Look how bright that is right in there. Wow. And look at this right above the eyebrow you can see there. And then there's this beautiful one right there. And of course he's here and then on his lip there right above there I am using Photoshop I I enjoy Photoshop <clears throat> it's easy to for me to to switch some colors here as I go along so now I'm just, I keep I'm squinting my eyes. I, I come back, squint my eyes so it's really blurry so I can start to uh, get a feel to where some of these secondary lights are coming in. I'm looking at the, uh, my image. 
just dropping in things, not not giving a lot of thought. Well, it is a lot of thought, but but not being just staying loose, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for, huh? And in five minutes, it's seven thirty-five. I'm going to uh, switch over to uh, another image, and we'll do that. All right. But let's add some blue here. I'm just going to do some. Yeah, there we go. And when I'm adding color, I'm I am. Uh, at this point, I'm just I'm just trying to get some color down. Uh, let's get some of these lips in here. Almost, almost like you were, if you were uh, painting. You know, a lot of times a painter just needs to get. needs to get some colors on the canvas so they can start thinking what they're doing next. All right, let's let's go into an area and just kind of work it. So I'm I'm going to look at his chin here a little bit more closer, okay? So we have this lighter area here, a darker area. Adding, adding shadow is just like uh, Adding shadow is just like uh, drawing. You're, you have to keep, keep observing things. And uh, you keep bringing things, more things into focus. Look, I just, I just noticed this bright highlight on his nostril. I didn't get that on my first pass. And then, then he has this bright highlight coming down the top of his nose there. Here's this bright little spot there. So Hopefully you can kind of get the idea of just, you just keep, you keep working it. You keep pushing things once you get your initial drawing and then you, it just starts to show itself. So we'll put a stop to this right now. And uh, let's bring up another drawing, another picture here. Let's do this woman here. Okay, let's go ahead and start and do the same, uh, same approach we did before. So uh, we're going to start off with uh, a quick gesture because quick gesture first, all right? Uh, 
I'm just quickly throwing some pieces down. I'm just got this huge hair here. I'm just like even beyond what I got showing up there. Just got this beautiful neck. And she's got these gray earrings. Okay, there's my there's my gesture. Very loose. And let's go ahead and start uh, putting this thing together. Now, uh, I think that she looks like we are looking up at her. So uh, let's just say her ears are here. All right. Let me look at her temple. All right, it's going to be right about there. So we're going to do that right there. All right, now, if I'm looking at the angle of her face, it is definitely slightly, it's not straight up and down. She's angling her head to, the, to her right slightly. There's my T coming down. And then I'm going to hang one eyeball there. Thing is with the eyeballs is they're usually like there's like a third eye length in between them. Okay. There's her nose. Roughly. And she has this this is a long distance right there. Dropping a straight line right where her pupils are. This will give me a sense where her mouth is going to be okay she's this beautiful lower lip and then her chin is going to be right about there but now now let's this time let's get her uh, jawline in and let's just carefully look at it. it's right about there so it's all right there it comes in Boom. All right. And I am going to add her glasses because they are definitely a, a, a measuring point for me. There's something that's part of the uh, her process there. Part of something that I can measure with. And then we talked in the last drawing about having some straights and her neck is definitely coming in straight. And now this, this is key. You always want to look for this. This is called the pit of the neck right in here. And then this is a tendon that goes on either side of the pit. And this comes all the way up to the ear. And this tendon allows you to uh, turn your head from left to right. So we want to all, if we could see it, we definitely want to add that, add those in. Okay. At least for a guide. All right. Now look at, I've got, I, I went way overboard with my hair position there. So let's just, let's just quickly gesture in more accurate position for her hair up there and and at this point I'm just kind of looking at the general shape of her hair I don't I just want to get the general shape I'm looking at the big picture here and then I'm looking at her hoops right below her nose and this one actually comes right along like this Okay, that's a pretty good, I think, at that point. Let's go ahead and start going in here with some uh, darker, pick up some of these darker features here, okay? So this kind of gives me a roadmap where to start drawing things. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to definitely start with her nose this time. And if you were here, like I said, we have this t 
high. The, uh, these little uh, wrinkles, these follow the ball of the, the ball of the mouth. And so that, that usually comes around like this. And the chin will sit right on top of that. And then I'm looking at her bottom lip, it's almost straight across. And her top one, she doesn't have much of a top lip. So it's mostly, it's gonna be mostly in shadow there. Now, look at something I've done. This is a mistake that uh, you will find yourself constantly making, I constantly make it. Typically, when we are drawing, we will, uh, line things up perfectly, all right? It's like this idea. Boom. I'm always, if I don't think, usually I'll try and like go it even, all right? But what I need to realize is a lot of times things are not even. And if I get, my brain wants to organize things and I have to fight against that. So in this case, she is slightly turning her head this direction. So I'm gonna see a little bit more on this side of her face. If that's the case, then this center line should shift over just a little bit, where here in the drawing, I've made it dead center. So let's, let's get rid of this. Let's kind of fix this. I'm just gonna erase it for a minute. And this time, let's let's do this. All right, that looks much better. She's already turning by just shifting it ever so slightly, but then it messes everything up. <laughs> let's just let's do this just because that nose is pretty good. We'll just cheat and use the computer as a tool. That's why, that's why we draw on the computer. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue here. All right, so anyways, uh, that's, a good, that's a good thing to be aware of, especially when we are drawing and we just wanna make sure that, uh, you know, we aren't always drawing things perfectly center, all right? All right, her eyes. Oh my, they're just kind of like, they're dark because they're in the shadow, right? And this is interesting. Look, look at her brow. Her brow is, I mean, it is tense. She, all right, eyebrows will tell you a lot. All right, and let's get these, uh, let's add these sunglasses because they're kind of fun. I'm just quickly just dropping some tone in there. All right. Okay. Now we have this. Now let's uh, come back in here. And I'm going to uh, the angles here, her jaw. And we have her jowls. Okay. Then we have her cheek lines coming in. Of 
afraid. I'm just squinting now to get the, get the next idea here. What's going on? All right, let's get some hair in here. Her ear, all right, let's just take a quick measurement here. This is the, the bottom of her ear is just below her nose. So we want to make sure that we're doing that. And let's get this, uh, this is just going around here. Get you, okay. We have about 10 minutes left. Does anyone have, is there any questions that I can answer? Tomorrow we have a, I have a new video that's coming out. You can check out on this YouTube. Uh, All right, I'm going to just take my whole drawing and turn it just a little bit. There. And we're at 52 minutes. So we got just a little bit more time here. And let's drop some tone on this, huh? a good tone here. I think that's it. All right. All right, let's get some uh, brights. Let's get some squint in my eyes again. Let's get some of uh, these uh, blues in here. There you go. Let's start it there. We'll we'll add some more color on top of that in just a minute. I just want to drop some tone here. Get some color.
Okay, and so it's just, just like the other painting, the other picture. Now it's just a matter of starting to go into it and slowly work each area. It's the top of this. All right, top of those rims. You have these little highlights here. Oops, a little thick. Okay, I think that's going to do it for tonight. So uh, that takes us up to an hour, and I, I hope that was uh, helpful. Uh, this will be posted, and if you have any other questions, just ask away. Okay, let's see, there's our camera. I hope everyone had a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye-bye.